This video brought to you by Tandy Leather. Tandy did send me some leather. Uh, specifically, uh, they sent me a whole half hide of this milled veg stand. This is something apparently all you guys knew about, but I didn't. Have you ever taken a piece of paper and crumpled it up and flattened it out, then crumpled it up again and flattened it out again, and you do that over and over again until it gets very soft? Well, this is basically the same concept here. Uh, it is vegetable tanned leather that has been run through a mill to the point where it feels and acts basically almost like chrome tan. Uh, it's soft, it's pliable. It's almost exclusively now what I use for liners. You can see it gets kind of a pronounced um, grain to it. You can glue it and sew it, everything flat, and then when you go to fold it, it doesn't crease or crinkle up like normal veg tan does. So Tandy did send me some leather. Uh, they sent me a nice set of conchos that I asked for, and since I get questions on it anyways, anytime that I use a tool uh, from my workbench that I procured from Tandy, which is going to be probably about 80% of it, I'll just add a subtitle naming that tool so you can easily find it on the website. Just the first time it appears on screen. I'm not going to subtitle every time I use the crap tool scratch all because I'm using it throughout the entire video and that would get really tedious. Real quick before we start, uh, this book you've seen in several of my videos, Packing Iron, Gun Leather of the Frontier West by Richard C. Rattenberry. Long out of print, a little bit difficult to find and when you do find it, it's kind of pricey, but it is well worth it if you are into making uh, Old West gun holsters and uh, cartridge belts and various other type of accoutrements like that. Uh, it is a good resource for just getting ideas for both on construction and just general design. And in this case, I'm actually, my inspiration for today's piece is this holster right here on page 129. I'm not trying to copy that holster, but this is just what I am uh, getting inspiration from for today's piece. So anyways, let's do that now.